The neighborhood is open again tonight in Cannon Falls after an hours long standoff ended with a suspect dead and a woman in the hospital. Devon Roming was in Cannon Falls where police are still piecing together exactly what happened. Commands echo through the small town of Cannon Falls Wednesday evening as police spent hours trying to negotiate with a 25 year old man believed to be barricaded in this home off First Street North and East Hoffman Street, leading to an unsettling phone alert for those nearby. It was shelter in place that there's an active shooter in the area, even forcing several schools into lockdown. When we go to a shooting call and somebody is shot, this is a typical response so that we can have a safe resolution to not only keep the neighbors safe, but the officers are safe too. I just ripped it right out. I keep talking to him, but from the outside his, or inside? From the outside. His dog came out too. Police say the suspect was wanted in connection with the shooting of a 26 year old woman in the neighborhood Wednesday morning. Once members of the police SWAT team were able to get into the home, they say they found the suspect inside dead. A crime scene leaving many questioning how something so tragic could ever happen so close to home. Can't get away from it no matter where you go. Cannon Falls police say the condition of the 26 year old woman is unknown at this time. But in the meantime, the Minnesota BCA is investigating what led up to this shooting. In Cannon Falls, Devon Roming, Care 11 News.